always great to catch up with Hilton Head Town Manager Steve Riley. Steve, uh, traffic issues on the south end, which are here with us every summer, uh, have seemed a little more acute this summer through that uh, one tough little intersection. Yes. But you've got it fixed, and now we're going to move down the street a little bit and wait till after Labor Day, right? Correct. Uh, yes, after a long, hard slog and a lot of frustration, we are done at Office Park, and uh, or at least mostly done, a little tiny finish-up sure. work in landscaping. And we'll get started with a different contractor right after Labor Day. And so we've got Lagoon, we've got um, South Forest Beach Drive, and we've got taking what is now basically a driveway for Circle Center and turning more into a road that will serve the park and the shopping center. All of that will kick off right after Labor Day, and then once we get the roads in and have better access into the property yeah. that's planned for the park, park construction will start in the spring. Yeah, and the beauty is the park construction can go on and hopefully not uh, uh, interfere with traffic. Let's talk about Celebration Park a little bit. Uh, yes. Is it the same? I mean, did we just dust off what was ready to go a couple of years ago before the storms got in the way? Basically, yes. Okay. The one thing is um, there had been a plan to extend Lagoon Road all the way through to, um, oh, there's a hotel there, and I've suddenly forgotten the name, name of the, uh, well, close to D'Allian. Okay. There's a Ro Tanglewood Drive okay. um, right before D'Allian that f leads to D'Allian. Um, we were not able to complete negotiations with that hotel group, and so the road, at least for now, will dead end at the park, and we'll have just a turnaround. But we will have to add a parking um, Okay. It, it'll be functional. It'll be yeah. less than ideal, but if you can't come to terms, you can't come to terms. Okay. And you also, in this case, did you not bid? The, this one's going to be done a little bit differently and that you bid it out separately rather than as one big? Correct. The road yeah. work and the pathway work is one bid. The park construction is a separate bid, and actually it won't go out into bid until just after, after the first of the year. Okay, uh, and hopefully everything will work out that way financially. Uh, Storm-wise, we had Tom Dunn, the emergency management coordinator, in a couple of weeks ago. He said that the town has been certified by the weather service and everybody else is being storm ready. Are we as storm ready as Steve Riley would like us to be as we head into the fall? We are, we are. Somebody I'll tell you a funny story yeah. about Tom Peoples and uh, being out in Denver when the mayor was chastised for saying we're ready, bring it on in the middle of a snowstorm that crippled them. So. Oh. Never, never say never, yeah. but we're we're as ready as we think we can be. All right, um, and of course the good news is uh, the way the summer has worked out, as hot and as awful as it been, has been, the weather service now says likelihood of fewer storms, which uh, we welcome. We, all... we welcome that. It only takes one. Yeah, and it only takes it coming towards us. But yeah, we welcome that forecast. We need to remember that for sure. Thanks so much, <laughs> Steve, for the time. We appreciate it as always. Always learn something when we chat. Steve Riley, Hilton Head Islands Town Manager.